What's up guys, it's Marley, and before we get into this video, I'd just like to set a goal for September to reach 50 subscribers. That would honestly just mean a lot to me, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy As this video. As you guys know, earlier this summer, Kyrie Irving requested a trade. And after nearly a month of us basketball fans trying to predict where Kyrie will play for the 2017-18 season, he has finally officially been trading to the Boston Celtics. I'm to do the best I can dissecting this trade, and by the end of this video, hopefully I came to a conclusion of who won and lost this trade. So in this two-team trade, the Celtics got Kyrie Irving, who did technically have an all-around worse year than Isaiah Thomas, but is still undoubtedly a top-15 player in the NBA, and put up nothing less than exceptional numbers last season. And on top of all that, he has plenty of experience in not only the playoffs, but also the NBA Finals, which is something all teams value. Kyrie was traded to the Celtics for Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder, Ante Zizic, and the 2018 Brooklyn Nets pick which could very easily be a top three pick, enabling them to select a prospect such as Michael Porter Jr., Marvin Bagley III, or Luka Doncic. All players that could develop into great players. Everybody can have their own opinion on this trade, but I think the Cavs came out on top. And although Isaiah Thomas is a defensive liability and starting to get a bit older and less consistent, he is still a great player. And one way that the Cavs could unquestionably win this trade is if they get somebody like Michael Porter Jr., who ends up becoming a great player. I'm sure if we went back to 2011, no one predicted the first overall pick would be swapped with the last overall pick six years into the future. I mean, what would you do if I said Markel Fultz would get swapped with Alpha Kaba in 2023? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so that we can hit our goal of 50 subscribers by the end of September. And as always, see you next time. Real life, there's no telling you're the right girl.